Hey guys, it's Mewtwo is Strong, and welcome to the next part of my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. In this part, we will be catching Entei. Now, unlike Suicune, Entei will not be in one specific spot and will instead be roaming around the Johto region through various routes. Now, right now, he is currently in Route 29, and whenever you encounter Entei, he will most likely run away. And since I do not have anything that can really make him from stop fleeing, I will just have to wing it, and he's in this route right now, so we'll just have to go and find him. Now, I have Ampharos out in front, so, well, so I can get a quick paralyze if I need to. And there isn't a 100% chance you will encounter Entei, as you just saw, because you will only encounter him... Oh, right now! You can tell once the that, of course, legendary music plays, but this is Entei. Yes, and as I said before, he flees at almost every opportunity it can. So I recommend a Pokemon that has some sort of ability that will prevent it from fleeing. But if you don't have that, you'll just have to rely on luck. So I'm just going to paralyze it right now. And, ah, uh, yep, it fled. So now I'm going to have to go chase it around some more routes. So I'll be right back. Alright, I've encountered Entei again, so now I'm going to just start doing damage to it, and hopefully it will knock it out, because Ambrose is a pretty high leveled, but we'll just see. I would really appreciate it if this didn't knock it out. Okay, good, there we go. Now we probably have a good chance of catching it. Now I'll meet you till we encounter it once again. Okay, now we can start throwing dust balls at this thing. It's had a pretty good enough health, it won't even go down any further. So let's just start throwing dust balls, because yes, I bought some dust balls because they work better than ultra balls, and it is night time. So, let's just try them out. Not even one click. Dang it. Oh, we'll have to go find it again, man. Okay, I found Entei once again. So let's just try and throw another dust ball at him. Ah, oh, dang it. There's the flea. Now let's just throw another dusk ball, and maybe this one will catch him. Man, I forgot how difficult these things are to catch. Aw, oh, no. Alright, here we go. We finally encountered Entei again, and oh, sweet. I was actually wondering if the original music was going to play if you switched to the GB sounds, which apparently it is, which is sweet. Like the crystal version. Ah, oh, so close! Oh, sweet! That didn't take very long, and yes, if you're wondering what the sudden change in Pokemon is, it's because this is filmed on a different day, and I did not save after I switched my team. And I am extremely lucky right now. Man, I've been looking for this thing forever. Now, usually I would just go and show you its stats right now, but Reiku is also on this route, so I'm going to try and capture him, because the Reiku and Entei video are being filmed at basically the same exact time, so I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, that was just a false alarm. It appeared, but apparently after I caught Entei, it switched routes. But anyway, I'll just show you Entei's stats right now. This is pretty good. Well, he has his moves are Roar, Fire Spin, Stomp, and Flamethrower. Flamethrower is a good move. And I guess that's all. All right, so in the next part, we will go catch Reiku. Thank you for watching. Bye.